What does the note say? Quarantine. Our housemate Steinberg Woodwolf has come down with a terrible disease. He is grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. And now he is also sick and coughing and sneezing. Do not disturb. Until the quarantine ends, we are going to camp out in the cold woods on the muddy ground. Therefore, we are also grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. Production of blue juice will be discontinued until Steinberg recovers. Soft steel and logger, wood dwarfs. Securely locked. Hmm, there's a note here. Anyone taller than a mouse, or taller than me for that matter, probably wouldn't even notice this. But there it is, hidden among tree roots and moss. How exciting! Too bad the gate is closed. The Great Zaroff, clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When? And where? Strange. A swift, cold, pebbly, babbling brook. It's running even faster here than it is over in Mousewood. How exciting! Too bad the gate is... Another drop. It looks interesting over there as well. But And another. Snow? In midsummer? It's summer here, isn't it? Curiouser and curiouser. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. Are these your packages and letters? No, but I am responsible for them. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? You'd really do that for me? Sure. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Then I can guard my bike. You know, my delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. No problem. Consider the mail delivered. Blue juice. Every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jug for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print at the bottom. The purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way obliges the wood dwarfs to treat their customers in a friendly manner. Hmm. There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Hmm. That's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. Okay, I really shouldn't do this. If only Mr. Churchmouse hadn't tied that thread to my coin. The temptation is just too great. It worked! Like with the gumball machine next to my school. Uh, not that I would know. I've just heard things. The last keg of blue juice. And a little sticker. What kind of stone is that? It is firmly stuck. No idea what it is. Only a hollow tree stump with nothing in it. But I hear a whistling sound. The wind is blowing through the hollow trunk, moaning and whistling. It almost sounds like a tune. The organ music of the wind, the breath of the forest. Hmm, how did I come up with that? Don't tell me I'm a poet too. Poet magician Jerry Hazelnut. It looks like it was hit by lightning about a thousand years ago. Hmm. Somebody seems to have carved four openings into its gnarly trunk. We have arrived. We will be the solution. Okay. Suspicious guy. Maybe you can use it to call someone. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. Cute. Another statue. A fish scale. It's all dry and shimmers in lots of colours. Hey, it's really light. My package at last. Isn't it a super smart and drop-dead stylish purse? Everyone will want to invite me to the theatre now. Thank you. Here, a tip for you. Hmm. Huh. A strawberry purse. something stylish too. Though you do already have a stylish hat. 
I found your niece. Little Ursula? Ooh. A crow attacked her. Oh, ooh. how is she? Tell me. Oh, ooh. She's fine. I chased off the crow. The feather shows me that you speak the truth. I thank you, Jerry. You are a true tree walker. That is what we call animals who help others in need. Oh. Good work, Jerry. I'm proud of you. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Special delivery for Mr. Burrower. Ah, my first fan letter. Dear Mr. Burrower, I am a long-time listener of your program and, uh, hmm, wonderfully smoky voice. True. Intellectual commentary. True. Uh, cheesecake. <coughs> cheesecake. Ooh. Yes. Fan letter? But what a fan. As thanks for your delivery, please take a small promotional gift. Take this wonderful mug and say with pride, I listen to Swamp Radio 103.6 R5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'd say that worked pretty well. One hot coffee. Too bad I don't like coffee. I'll give him some of my coffee. I'm awake. I'm so grateful to you. Strong coffee. Take this. Without you, I would have been late for work. All right. Um. Ah. <sighs> Thanks. I've been waiting a long time for this. My language instruction package. Coconut Palm Islandese overnight on 30 cassettes. I need to be well prepared if I want to retire there. Uh, are you waiting for something? A tip, maybe? We're church mice. We have nothing to just give away. You've got mail. Thank you. No problem. Huh? Who said that? Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. <sighs> They were brand new. Who would take I your bet tools? there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around Mousewood, they're invisible, they steal tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? Hmm. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> nice, sir. Pointy teeth. Did you hear something? Oh, somebody's there. A little green man with a hat. I knew it! We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah! May the snakes take me. Dully cats and fly specks. Hail and mud puddles. He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. What? Stop! Oh no, the thief is gone. I have to go after him. Hmm. Ah, the footprints lead to the little tunnel between the roots. No, I just don't fit. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. Ha! The Shabra Cripper certainly won't find me here. There he is again. 
Stop! Ha! I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic. It gives me strength. I, I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. That's a cunning plan, and it might just work. So crazy, it might just work. Dolly carts and fly specks! Leave me in peace, you brat! You'll never get me shamrock! Give chase! We gotta catch that leprechaun. Let's salt his tail. He'll take us to his pot of gold. There he is again. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. The leprechaun will pop up at any moment, and then... Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That hurt. Off to the Hedgehog Brothers. They'll sure be glad to get their tools back. Dolly carts and fly specks. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. I've got your tools. Terrific. But... As long as the green hat is still about, I'm not happy about finishing building the boat. Me neither. Please make him go away. If we block the tunnel. That's music to my ears. The unmistakable sound of our tools. There, the tunnel is closed. There he is again. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. I feel like I'm going in some... There he is again. Stop. Ha! I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic. It gives me strength. I, I can do whatever I like here. Dolly carts and fly specks. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. Ouch! Nail shot. Fine. Be that way. What a waste of a day. Ah, off home to warm heart. The shamrock ripper won't find me there. The footprints lead to the top of the pumpkin. Hmm. Hold on. Is that a chimney? I knew there was something strange about it. I wonder if it's hollow. Oopsie. <laughs> he broke it. You! You! You destroyed me house! Smashed it to tiny wee pieces in the blink of an eye! Oh, what have I ever done to you? Oh, uh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to? That was negligent vandalism. You're after me, Cobalt Cobalt! Actually, I was just here about the stolen stuff. Oh, <laughs> well, that's me cue. Till we never meet again, you snoop. You snoop. And he's gone. This is starting to get frustrating. Has a green hat really gone? Oh, what a relief. It looks kind of sad when it's so empty. I was just trying to catch the thief, but I didn't want this to happen. It was a nice little house. Well, pumpkin, pumpkin house. Hmm. The spoon and the silvery lump are probably stolen too. Probably. Anyway, Inspector Hazelnut has secured the stolen goods. It's over. The green hat is gone. Ah, oh, I am so relieved. Dad was right after all. He was living in the pumpkin with the chimney the whole time. I'd wondered about that. Ah, and you have our tools. Come on, brother. We better get to work. The leaf boat for Spitzweg is ready. Ready to put to sea. And how do we get it to Mr. Spitzweg? 
Just give it a little push. And it sinks. Ah, oh, but... Don't worry. The cold water brook will take the boat to the catfish barrier. Where Spitzfeg is already waiting. There. We still have a lot to do. We need to get back to work. We still have to renovate an antique cabinet for our neighbour. Ah, oh, that'll be fun. Oh, I love furniture. But make sure you don't sand too deep this time. Yeah, yeah. Now the invitation is in the envelope. Ooli's nightcap. Sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf buck, but I only have one. One single leaf buck. Well... <gasps> Excellent! The boat is here! In all my travels over the years, I've realized again and again that you can find kind people no matter where you go. Just as long as you never give up and always travel with an open heart. I should write that down. It sounds like a motto for my journey. Now I can finally put out to sea. Weigh anchor. Set the sail. Man the oars. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, oars? Oars! We had better not set out rudderless. Water is much too unpredictable. You can't rely on chance to take you where you want to go. And to be sure your ship doesn't try to leave without you when you go ashore, you also need an anchor. But as long as the catfish is swimming outside the barrier, we can't even think about setting off. The world offers enough adventure. We don't need to go looking for trouble, you know. So we can't set sail until we've got an anchor and a rudder, and the brook here is free of loitering catfish, right? Yes, and then our great journey will begin. Hmm, or so we hope. Good idea. There. That's exactly what we need. An excellent rudder. Now all we need is an anchor. But as long as the catfish is swimming outside the barrier, we can't even think about setting off. But once I've done that, we get started, right? Yes, and then our great journey will begin. Hmm, or so we hope. <gasps> that is a perfect anchor. But as long as the catfish is swimming outside the barrier, we can't even think about setting off. But once I've done that, we get started, right? Yes, and then our great journey will begin. Hmm, or so we hope. And good night. Um, what did you just put in the water? Uh, me? Oh, uh, nothing. Something that makes little mice sleepy couldn't harm a gigantic catfish. Well, at least I hope not. Oh, ho, ho. outstanding, first mate. Please open the barrier by pressing the lever over there. Here? It looks like you can open the barrier from here. Either that, or fire off a couple of rockets. Let's give it a try. Oh, well done! I shall defer to you on the maiden voyage of our good ship, Goldleaf. Arr, cast off! Starboard port, make him walk the plank! <laughs> on second thoughts, I should probably take command. You can still be my first mate, though. Man, I need a parrot on my shoulder who just agrees with everything I say. Then I would be captain. Halt! Who sails down the brook? Oh no, not him again. Waterway troll, 400 leaf bucks. No, oh, you mean troll? <laughs> How troll? Yeah, yeah, smart and troll and gifted. My babysitter Anya always says that. Dead end, unless you pay 400 leaf bucks. Nobody sails under my bridge without paying. Oh, <laughs> river pirates. Oh, kids will be kids. You know, we used to cook up schemes like this. But as an adult, you have to let things like this roll off your back. But the lady...